always like, even when I was little, like I, that's the only thing I want to be. That's the only thing that I can do well. I, I mean, yes, my father was a painter. So I, I think a lot of part of the decision was probably made from my parents in an earlier stage. But in Korea, I finished my undergrad and grad program in traditional Korean painting. And through that long training, I never get to learn and appreciate what's beyond my culture, like what's beyond tradition. And that actually I find that limitation, I feel constrained. Like there's something more that I can expand my artistic voices and expand more life experiences to make my work richer. I guess I'm not the only one. So many, so many artists, they chose to relocate themselves to Paris or chose to relocate themselves to different different cities and different part of the world just to I mean it's art about identity just to just to see themselves in objectively step back and keeping distance the more I stay there's so many things that I didn't know and there's so many things that I should learn you know it actually challenges me in so many ways do I still want to do this like do I still want to make art in a new completely you know different environment Every time I ask the same question, do I still want this? It has been yes, and it will be yes. So I'm very grateful that um, that I know what I want at the very earlier stage and growing up in a family environment that you know that 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 was actually encouraged. And so yeah, I feel very fortunate. As a Korean immigrant, like living and creating in America, I, I've always perceived myself as a, as a being in between two countries and being in between affiliation and alienation. So I, I decided to paint the view from driving the highway, the, the space in between that connects one city to another, which is also easily passed by or forgotten. I mean, no matter where you go, highway, look exactly the same. If you go to Korea, I mean, the highway look the same. Georgia 85, they all look the same. So I thought that's very interesting too, that only it connects between, but because it's so localized, people find it boring. And also, it, this sounds strange, but I don't feel any homesickness when I'm on highway. I thought, wow, wow that's, this is very strange experience. And yeah, and that uh, that already like that got that brought me to start interesting. You seeing the highway scene in a completely different new way. And I particularly choose and limited my color palette with the color blue because the color blue would be associated with the idea of distance, you know, the objects that are far away tend to be, you know, bluer than the rest. So for all that reason, like try to, I, I've been creating a sort of blue monochromatic sort of landscape um, ever since in a shape panel or shape canvases. So to make it personal, I have to create sort of interesting, like personal compositional units that speak about me. So I chose Korean letters. As, as, as a compositional unit. So Korean letters are composed of combination of lines and circles only. So it's very like abstract in geometry. So I would use that, you know, the circular shape of Korean letter, which represent the sky. And I would choose square, which means, which represent the earth and line you know, represents an upright human that connects, you know, between the sky and earth. So I intentionally choose to use sort of interesting compositional units instead of like wide panoramic scene. My subject matter is about like in between, like the distance in between, but the method that I've been using to depict that distance is intimate. You know, I create distance sort of like a creating an intimate manner to make viewers feel close to my work. And I use very small, small gesture um, that almost look like photo, actually. I mean, some people even ask, is this painted or, or is it just a print? But I intentionally choose copying the distance with an intimate manner because, I mean, copying is the way we learn the world. You know, we're copying how we talk from my mother, from our, you know, parents and cultures. I think the copying is the way to understand the world. 
So um, I would use photo references. I mean, I, I take a small, like, you know, still shots every time I drive. I mean, I hold, I don't hold my phones, but every time I drive, it's trying to like burst options so I could like random pictures when I'm, when I'm on my highway. And then, um, you know, thoroughly research when I'm home and creating a composition from there. And when I get the composition right, then painting with a small brush once a month.